The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King, released in September 2005, which was almost a full year after the DS's November 2004 release and months after the PSP's March 2005 release. I can say that this is the last Game Boy Advance game that I ever played on the original Game Boy Advance that I had. I had already bought a PSP at that point and hadn't played the GBA in months. But I was interested enough in a prequel to a 12 year old movie to borrow this game from either my cousin or a friend and play it. This prequel, taking place on Halloween, sees Oogie Boogie try to take over Halloween Town using bugs. And I think that enemy choice is one reason why I didn't remember the actual game. Bugs are so generic and forgettable. When you think of a Nightmare Before Christmas game, you would expect the enemies to be really creative and scary, but instead, you're just acting as a glorified exterminator. You get a frog gun, but the frog burps out a green mist instead of using its tongue as a weapon. I don't know, maybe it upgrades later on? I only played just a little bit until the first boss. I couldn't remember anything about this game when I started playing it for this review, but when I saw the fish bones, I remembered the fish. But for the positives, it does look good and spooky, with Halloween Town having its classic jack-o'-lantern sun. If you stand idle too long, Jack will take off his head, which I guess is funny enough. When you beat a boss, dead splattered bugs splat onto the screen and Jack does some ballet moves, scaring away other bugs. For the atmosphere, I gotta give it a 2.5. Yes, the backgrounds are super spooky, full of jack-o'-lanterns and other spooky decor, but the forgettable enemies hold it back from being a full three. And for the gameplay, I'll give it a 2.5. It's a functionable game, jumping feels fine and shooting feels fine, but it's just a GBA platformer, and about a mid-tier compared to others. But if you're a mall goth and just need to know the Nightmare Before Christmas backstory, or just interested in spooky side-scrollers, it probably would be a fun play around Halloween time.